Eighth grade unit three, lesson 12, solutions to linear equations. Before we get into this, hit that like button. I appreciate it. Problem number one, select all the ordered pairs X and Y that are solutions to the linear equation 2X plus 3Y equals six. Let's take a look at the first set of ordered pairs and substitute zero for the X variable and two for the Y variable. That would be two times zero plus three times two equals six. Two times zero is zero and three times two equals six. Zero plus six equals six. So A is a solution for the linear equation. Let's do the same thing for B. Substitute a zero for the X and a six for the Y. Two times zero equals zero plus three times six. Three times six is 18 and zero plus 18 equals 18. Since the linear equation equals six and the ordered pairs for B equal 18, the ordered pairs for B are not a solution. C, substitute the X with a two and substitute the Y with a three. So it would read two times two plus three times three. That would be four plus nine, which is equal to 13, not six. So C is not a solution. D, substitute the X with a three and the Y with a negative two. So it reads two times three plus three times negative two. Two times three is six and three times negative two is negative six. So that's like six plus a negative six or six minus six, which is zero. So D is also not a solution. E, substitute the X with a three and substitute the Y with a zero. 2 times 3 plus 3 times 0. 2 times 3 is 6, and 3 times 0 is 0. So 6 plus 0 equals 6. So the ordered pairs for E are a solution. F. Substitute the X with the 6 and the Y with the negative 2. It would read 2 times 6 plus 3 times a negative 2. 2 times 6 is 12, and 3 times a negative 2 is a negative 6. So that's like 12 plus a negative six or 12 minus six and 12 minus six is six. The ordered pairs for F are also a solution to the linear equation. Problem number two, the graph shows a linear relationship between X and Y. X represents the number of comic books Priya buys at the store all at the same price and Y represents the amount of money in dollars Priya has after buying the comic books. A. Find and interpret the X and Y intercepts of this line. The horizontal axis or the X axis represents the comic books and the vertical axis or the Y axis represents dollars. The X intercept is located at the five on the X axis and the y-intercept is located at the 20 on the y-axis. These intercepts tell me that Priya has $20, and if she buys five comics, she will spend all her money. B. Find and interpret the slope of this line. I'll start at the y-intercept, and I'll count down 5, 10, 15, 20. That's down 20, or negative 20. And to the right, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. That's 5 to the right. Negative 20 divided by 5 equals negative 4. The slope of this line is negative 4. C. Find an equation for this line. Y equals negative 4x plus 20, or y equals 20 minus 4x. This means that the value for y will be equal to the slope or negative four times the value for x plus the y-intercept, which is 20. D, if Priya buys three comics, how much money will she have remaining? I'll use the equation y equals negative four times x plus 20 to help me write this equation but I'm going to substitute the X with the number of comics. So the equation will read Y equals negative four times three plus 20. And negative four times three is negative 12. So the value for Y will equal 20 minus 12. And 20 minus 12 is eight. 
So y equals 8, or the amount of dollars that she will have remaining equals 8. Number 3. Match each equation with its three solutions. A. Y equals 1.5 times X. Let's use the first pair in number 1, 14 and 21. Since 14 times 1.5 equals 21, if Y were 21, then 1.5 times 14 equals 21. Let's look at the next pair, 2 and 3. 2 times 1.5 equals 3. So that also works. And 8 times 1.5 equals 12. All three sets for number 1 are a solution for A. B. 2x plus 3y equals 7. Substitute the negative 1 for x and the 3 for y and you have 2 times negative 1 plus 3 times 3 equals 7. A negative 2 and a positive 9 is the same as 9 and a negative 2, which is 9 minus 2, or 7. I used the ordered pair negative 1 and 3 from number 4. All the other ordered pairs in number 4 also work. Equation B is a match with number 4 solutions. C. X minus Y equals 4. Negative 1 minus negative 5 equals 4. Minus a negative 5 is like the opposite of negative 5, or plus 5. So this would read negative 1 plus 5 equals 4, or 5 minus 1 equals 4. You'll find the solution that has a negative 1 and a negative 5 in the solutions for number 2. Equation C is a match for the number 2 solutions. D. 3x equals y divided by 2. 3 times 1 equals 6 divided by 2. 3 times 1 is 3, and 6 divided by 2 is 3. 3 equals 3. The ordered pair with a 1 and a 6 can be found in the number 5 solutions. Solution number 5 is a match with equation D. E. Y equals X plus 1. 1 half equals negative 1 half plus 1. Negative 1 half plus 1 is the same as 1 minus 1 half. 1 half equals 1 minus 1 half. 1 half equals 1 half. The ordered pairs 1 half and 1 half are found in solution 3. Solution number 3 is a match with equation E. Problem number four. A container of fuel dispenses fuel at the rate of five gallons per second. If Y represents the amount of fuel remaining in the container, and X represents the number of seconds that have passed since the fuel started dispensing, then X and Y satisfy a linear relationship. In the coordinate plane, will the slope of the line representing that relationship have a positive, negative, or zero slope. Explain how you know. I've created a graph with the seconds along the horizontal axis or the x-axis and gallons along the vertical axis or the y-axis. The line shows that as the seconds pass, the gallons decrease, and it does so at a rate of 5 gallons per second. The rise goes down 5 gallons and to the right 1 second. This is a negative slope because the amount of fuel in the tank is decreasing. Problem number five. A sandwich store charges a delivery fee to bring lunch to an office building. One office pays $33 for four turkey sandwiches. Another office pays $61 for eight turkey sandwiches. How much does each turkey sandwich add to the cost of the delivery? Explain how you know. This represents the four turkey sandwiches ordered by the first office building, and this represents the eight turkey sandwiches ordered by the second office building. The first office building paid $33 for delivery and four sandwiches. The second office building paid $61 for eight sandwiches and the delivery. 
If I take away $33 from $61, that's like taking away the delivery fee and the price of four sandwiches. That would leave me with just the price of four sandwiches. The $61 paid by the second office building minus $33 paid from the first office building is $28. These four sandwiches cost $28. 28 divided by 4 equals 7. The price of each sandwich is $7. Each sandwich costs $7. Subtract the total price of four sandwiches and the delivery fee and you're left with four sandwiches for $28. And $28 divided by four sandwiches is $7 per sandwich. Help me disrupt YouTube's algorithm by liking this video, commenting on this video, sharing this video, and subscribing to my channel. Thanks. I appreciate it.